just tuning in, we have a cardio here. Ready to go. Ready to go. Thanks to our friend Mike G, who actually pulled cardio during the, I think it was the Times 2 Void event. Now, as you see, cardio is fully ascended. I believe he's fully booked. He's fully mastered, and he has a whole lot of gear on. Here is his stats, just so everybody can see. These are the stats that we're rolling with. So he has 64,000 health, 238 speed, 15% crit, 112% crit damage. Defense at 2700, attack is at 2000. And yes, chat's like, oh my God, he's beautiful. He is. You would trade all of your champs to get yourself a Cardiel. Yep, and the resist, he's got good resist on him too. Where are we at? 394, accuracy at 112. So here is a cardio, and what we're gonna do is we're going to have some fun and play around with them. So Chad, let me know too where you would like to see him. I know that we have plenty of energy. We have plenty of energy, and Mike said he can stay out to play for a while. Yes, so cardio gets a play date with Chad today. You have to love that, right? You have to love it. Oh, this is, this is our farmer. Let's take our beautiful boy. I mean, I just, I love, I love the way he just flies in. It's beautiful. Good morning, Shady. You guys just tuning in. You'd love to see what he does. Yeah, he's just beautiful. And all those majestic feathers falling everywhere. It's great. We're gonna play around with them in a couple different places today. Yeah, if you guys want to see the gear, we can take a look at that as well, too. I showed you guys the stats for what he has. He's fully ascended. He's fully booked, full masteries. He is a formal cardio. You built him for pure support. Nice. So what we're probably going to do is we're going to take him running through some dungeons. If you guys have anywhere particular, you would love to see him. I'm going to take him into Dragon. And Mike, where are you using him right now? Oh, Al's, you're voting for none of them. Don't worry, we're going to do one for champs that need a boost. Dragon 20. Okay, we're going to take him into Dragon 20, you guys. I mean, clearly, chat. I don't think anybody is going to use Cardial as a farmer anytime soon. But the thing is, when you get a new toy, sometimes you just like to play around with them, right? All right, chat, let's run dragon. You guys ready to see some dragon? So he's actually lead. We have him in lead here with a nice team. So let's run some dragon and we're gonna have Cardiel as the lead here. Just beautiful, huh? Gotta love it. That's what I said. I, I was calling him Fabio yesterday, which was great. You built your cardio as a damage dealer, nice. So we have a really nice team here. This one, we have Sir Nick, Inquisitor Shamal, Cardio, Ursula, and Draco. It's a nice team we have here for Dragon. But what I love, again, is he has a really nice, he has a speed lead aura for all battles. Gella, how was your stream? I would love to hear all about it. Thank you so much for thinking of me today. Our golden angel boy looking so majestic here. How does he do in the other dungeons? We know that, so you've been running Dragon 20 with him. How does he do in the other dungeons? much for hugging Layla. I appreciate that. Playing TFT for a bit now to see how it goes. I remember you were playing it for a while before too. And then you were doing WoW. Do you think it'll go back to WoW? He does okay. Helps a little bit in Fire Knight. Okay, maybe we'll go run him into Fire Knight. You guys want to see some Fire Knight? We could do that.
If he was with a good team, he would be amazing in Spider. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of buffs there, huh? That's a lot of buffs. Sharky, thank you very, very much for the follow. I appreciate that. Spider's the worst dungeon. Okay. We can take him into Fire Knight. Do a whole bunch of things. Oh, I got you, Gala. I got you. This team is wishing for a seer. And the right team, he could be great. Okay. Nice. Again, he's not doing much damage. He only did 154,000 is the damage that he did. He's not really in there for the damage though, right? Like we have, it looks like we got Draco and Sir Nicholas for that. He's really in there for the support. But that was nice. You guys want to see... Oh, we talked Fire Knight, right? So Fire Knight. It will leave her in the speed lead, that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna try this out, is we're going to swap in Cardial instead of Cold Heart. And let's see, so this is Fire Knight 20. And having both Venus and Cupid is, hi Hoot, how's it going? A casual cardial. No guys, this isn't my cardial. This is not my team. If you're just tuning in, Mike G was kind enough to have a showcase cardial because not everybody has him. So he has cardial, he's a fully formal cardial, fully booked, fully ascended, fully mastered. So we're doing a little bit of a cardial showcase for people that haven't been able to see him yet. We showed his stats. We showed his gear, and I could show you guys the masteries again later if you'd like. We just, we ran him in 12-3 for funsies. Like I said, he's not going to be a campaign farmer anytime soon, but he is fun to watch. We just ran him in Dragon 20, and now we're having some fun with him in Fire Knight 20. Now, Clan Boss was a team I was asking about, but what we were talking about was, I don't think he's tuned for Clan Boss, not yet. Not yet. Yeah, he's doing great. So guys, I'll show you again the, I'll show you his masteries again, and I'll show you the gear and his stats for those of you guys that missed it. So far, so good, though. He's been nice and Dragon and Fire Knight. And I know Mike said right now, Spider has been a bit weak for him. But the animations are great. Have you tried him in Arena? Gonna lurk. Thank you, Gala. I appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. Gotta love all those stacks on him, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got you. So you have a nuke team for Spider. I understand that. In 3v3. Yeah, same thing. Again, he's not going to be doing damage because this build here is for support. Do you want me to run him in 3v3? Is that what you're saying? Before we do that though, I know people are just tuning in, so I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys the stats. This is his stats right now. This is what Mike has done with him and done pretty well. Is Lamea a god? She is the god. She is the goddess. She is the goddess. Pretty much Arbiter works for Lamea. Lamea is the creator of all. All right, check. Here are Cardial's stats, and I'll show you guys the masteries too. This is what this is what Mike did with Cardial defense and support. There's no rival evil version. There is Siroth. 
Lumea and Siroth. Okay, so we went defense. Looks like we have defense and support tree with Cardiel is what we have so far. And I showed you guys his stats. And artifacts. Again, we have a nice speed set. Definitely some nice rolls on speed here, right? Then we also have the resilience, which is HP plus 10% and defense plus 10%. And again, got some nice speed rolls in there. Very nice speed rolls. 15 months, you're still learning the game. I think a lot of people are gonna say that. I mean, we're always still learning something. <laughs> oh, that's great. You wanted to make sure that the counterattack masters were on to help him counterattack more often. Very nice. And then we have an immortal set. So we actually have a resistance chest piece on him. Again, speed. And an immortal shield. So that's the gear that we currently have on him. This is something I need to do today on my main account too, is we probably need to hang out in Spider because for Sacred Order, I'm a bit lacking in rings and necklaces right now. But here's the necklace. We have a defense necklace with some good stats on there and a speed banner. We ran Dragon, we ran Fire Knight. You said that he's good in pretty much all of them except Spider, right? All right, we're gonna swap this. This is going to be Ice Golem. <laughs> Look at this noob account. <laughs> oh, this account is so noob. This this account is the, um, when you first start, you can buy the starter package. Those of you that missed out on it, too bad. Wah, 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 wah. All right, so far we ran Cardial in Dragon. We ran him in Fire Knight. And we're playing around with him here in Ice Golem. Is this an alt account? No, I think this is the main account, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Doom Tower, yes. I don't think we could run him in Doom Tower though. All the keys are used up. Mike and I were chatting about that this morning. But he said he loves him in Doom Tower. He does great in there. But I cannot run that right now for you guys. What we probably could do perhaps later on, at some point, after Mike gets Astralon and he becomes a fully formal Astralon, is maybe we could look at running them both again together and see how they do. He's great in New the Nether Spider, yeah. He's supposed to be really, really good in Doom Tower. No, I think he used all the keys, Mern. You need keys though still, don't you? If not, we can see if we could run him in some things there. Oh, Mike, that sounds great. Yeah, that'll be nice. And then what we'll do is we'll run them both. Yeah, well, Mern, that's what we were talking about. We were actually talking about the boss. Unless if you guys want to see him on waves, we can see that. But you're not going to be able to see him on any of the bosses because we're out of keys. Yeah, again, so far, so good. Looks like it's fine also in here, too. We're all right. We got a, of course, we got a really nice team, too. We can look at some stages. You could take Sophie out and it would still work. It looks like it would. It looks like it's fine. No big deal here. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, you guys want to see some Doom Tower? Oh, you know what we could do too? Is Mike did mention 3v3. Oh, what is this? <laughs> All right. So we're gonna have, we have Cardiel here. He's gonna be in the third group here. Let's uh, let's run it for fun, guys. Let's run for fun. We'll let them auto it. Hi, Illidan.
Hello, Jay. Hi, Super. Hello. You just got off work and you come in and you're put to work. What is that about? Wait, what happened? 3v3 isn't important to you. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Oh, that sounds fine, Darkwing. Thank you. Regular school caught up with you. Well, welcome, Illidan. Welcome back, guys. If you're just tuning in, we're doing a bit of a, a cardial showcase today. Mike G is letting us borrow his cardial so you guys can see cardial in action. Okay, nice. Thank you. And hello, little one. Good morning. Hello. Hi, Fane. How are you? How's it going? This is your main classic team. Nice. If we had bought the starter pack, what happens if we get a leg up? No. That was a joke, guys. If only we had a real life Kappa. That that was a joke. There was no there was no starter pack that that gives you an advantage. <laughs> that was very much a joke. <laughs> Okay, so here's here's Cardial and Arena. Let's go. Cardial and Arena. We've tested him out. We ran him in Dragon, Fire Knight, and Ice Golem. And we have him in 3v3. <laughs> Gotta say, he does look rather majestic here too. Very nice. Okay. Well, I know Mike said he really didn't care about 3v3, but nice. And I know chat was asking about Doom Tower, so let's get over into Doom Tower. Oh, should we do... Yeah, you did all this already. Now, okay, we can't do any of the boss stages. Well, we can run him around in Doom Tower, right? Got it. There's our dude. Let's leave it as in then with HP. I'm not sure if it matters. That's why I asked. We got a couple tenders in here too. You spent a long time trying to beat Agrith. Hood, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a lovely day. Yeah, that's fine, Mike. No problem. Oh, yep, chat. Hood is here. You may commence with the feeding. Sharky! Hi! Thank you so much, Mwah, Sharky. I appreciate that. That means you get 20 tier one emotes, access to the Subbly Discord, a channel, no ads, and you get a fox with your name on it that goes into the Book of Memories. The sub foxes look like these, and I make those sub foxes every Saturday. Let me know what color you would like, and I'll make that for you. You get a choice between red, orange, blue, or gray. Hello, John, good morning. If you guys just tuning in, we are running around with Cardial and having fun with him. Hello, Tug. How's it going? We're doing wonderful. We're doing great. Anomalous. Hello there. Good morning. Chad, is there anywhere you would like to see Cardial being ran? You want to see how he does? We got some coffee, too. Is Cardio Raids a Cupid? He is way too majestic to be Cupid. He's way too majestic for that. He's pretty much Fabio. 
A Raul, yeah, I think so. He's the pretty boy of Raid now. He's the pretty boy of Raid. Hi, Lexi! Yeah, I hear you. You thought he was Banner Lord. No, he's Sacred Order. He's more support though, right? So maybe he has, if he has to come out. Because he's more support. All right, let's see how they do. Now this is Classic Arena. I know chat was asking about Classic. I was asked about classic, so here we go. We ran him in 3v3 earlier. This is classic now. Beautiful. Again, he's with a nice team. Hello, Pat. How's it going? Okay. Nice. Okay, here's his stats. All right, Chad, here's his stats. And again, this one, this one is build up for support, right? There's his stats. And here's his masteries. <laughs> Chat, you're so funny. Why is Fabio on the screen? Cause we're testing him out. Hi Ian, how are you? <laughs> okay. Here's the masteries that Mike used. I show you guys the stats and he has three sets. We have a speed set, we have a resilient set, and then we have an immortal set on him too. <laughs> he is, he's, he's the golden Fabio. He's the golden boy, right? All right, now for skills. He is, he does have increased ally speed in all battles by 19%. His passive is kind of neat. I think it's, it's nice and it's unique. It's, it's called Fiend Warden, it's a passive. Allies receive 20% less damage from champions from demon spawn, undead, or night revenant. Whenever an ally attacks, has a 50% chance to team up with them and join their attack. Can only join the allies attack once per turn. Will not team up on ally attacks when they counterattack or when team up to attack with another champion. Heavenly host. Heavenly host. Places a 30% Increased crit rate buff and 30% increased crit damage buff on all allies for two turns. Then teams up with all allies to attack a target enemy. Decreases the cooldown of skill by one turn if an enemy is killed from this attack. <laughs> Who clearly read the title? <laughs> they did. I, I do agree. I think they did miss the opportunity to make a fun angelic faction. I agree because they could have already had Cardial and Astralon in there. Angel Song removes all debuffs from all allies. It places a block debuff and revive on death buff on allies for two turns, and it cannot be removed. The revive on death, which is pretty neat that it can't be removed. And Cow the Wicked attacks an enemy, heals all allies by 7.5% of max HP, and also places a true fear debuff for one turn if the target is a champion from Demon Spawn, Undead, or Night Revenant. Isn't that cool? That's really cool, right? Isn't that what Sacred Order is, though? Not really. Not really. Like, if we check out Sacred Order. No. Sacred Order. For centuries, the Knights of the Sacred Order were charged with cleansing Teleri of evil and all its guises. But since the declaration of war, they have sworn allegiance to the Queen of Arabia. In league with the Queen's necromancer, these once holy knights now enforce her majesty's will and guard her chattel. Yeah, they're more like knights, more like paladins. This is what they are. And if you check out my Raid Story Legends videos on YouTube, I actually have one of the lore comics that they did where it reminds me very much of what happened to Arthas and Warcraft 3 where I forgot what it was called, but pretty much they, they pretty much like destroyed a whole village to do this, to cleanse Teleria of evil. 
pretty much very a la what happened to Arthas when he was starting to kind of lose his mind as he was spiraling towards becoming the Lich King, right? It was very similar to something like that. But no, Sacred Orders really are not angelic. Like, they're pretty much just knights, paladins, things like that. That's technically what they are. But I agree. I think it would be really, really cool if we had an angelic faction that Astralon and Cardiel could fit into. Yeah, so I mean, we definitely had some good runs with him. I would love to know what you guys think. If you guys have him, what are your builds with him? And how have you been enjoying him? What content have you been using him in? Because he does seem like he could be used in so much content. Are you guys building him as support? Are you trying to build him up for damage? I would love to know what else you guys are doing. And I hope to get him myself someday too. I would really, really love to. And Mike, thank you again so much for letting us play around with him. I really appreciate that. I'm sure everybody else enjoyed watching this as well too. So thank you for that.